competition. I'd like to share an idea, a suggestion for you to noodle. What are you dealing with on the world stage? The players and games that you see. For you to participate in such realities, you have to pay your dues. You have to rise through the ranks. You have to be noticed, plucked from society in a way. And in that process, there are many attempts to corrupt you. There are many attempts to steal your light, your thunder. What are you dealing with? Competition. This is what we are going to be witnessing. Hope you're paying attention. The year is 2018. The date, July 16th. This is an important day because numbers is a technology that those on the world stage use as communication. And if you've been listening, I have been teaching you how to decode those, how to read their language. This is part of remote viewing. How you read their language is they speak in numbers because they have such a connection in their faith, in their belief, that they understand and have wisdom that God speaks to them in numbers. This is the perfection of the language in which they believe who their creator is. If you follow my channel, I will share with you that from my perspective, the world is in harmony. The world is exactly how we make it. And so I have been trying to give you joy management so that you way you can create something beautiful, something unique, something that you played a role in the game of life, that you did your part that when you saw something, you corrected it. When you witnessed something, you hugged it. When you loved something, you kissed it. Instead of observing, you actually put action. Your legs moved you. Your heart inspired you motivated you in care, in wisdom. Your heart reached out to touch. This is the essence of competition. This, it's about projection. Also, consumption. Hence why we eat the world. Now, when we do this, what are we making with the resources in which we pluck, we focus on, we point out, and then we execute? Opposition and condition. These are aspects in which we find ourselves in, in our environment. We are in opposition because there are things around us that are different than us. Right? You have a Jeep or a bicycle or a longboard, okay? Or a parachute. These things are different from you, so that is opposition. Now, the condition is how you use those things. What environment are you in? What do you actually have access to? And then your focused point on what you're extracting from that or implementing from that, okay? What are you changing about that? The point is this. On the world stage, it is theater. You are witnessing battles 
between magicians, between sorcerers. You don't want to recognize it now, but hopefully at some point, maybe some of you do, but hopefully at some point, you may see that the numbers play a role. 2018, one and eight is nine. You add the two for the 2000 and you have 11. These numbers matter. These numbers are encoded in time for a reason. I share with you remote viewing and the practices and how you manage time. And I can share with you numbers. This is the most important part because that is how you define your accuracy. If your aim is on target, I hope those are listening. Numbers is what remote viewers in the field don't teach you. They claim it's too difficult. And you believe these things. And it makes me smile because it's hilarious. Numbers is the best way to find out if you're accurate. When you're in competition, (laughs) you keep score. You keep track of numbers because this is how you can tell if your actions and participation is of greater value than your competitor. (laughs) So competition. What is your idea? What are you reaching for? Okay, what do you want to touch, have in your life? The idea will cause a release in the universe to give that to you. Through possibility and through the course of action in which you take, you will reach your destination. Now, in that process, it does get hotter. It does get tougher. There are levels of and grades of difficulty, if you will, that need to be put in to your practice. Okay? It's called learning. And experiencing these things is far greater than actually just witnessing them with your eyes or listening to them with your ears. When all the senses are participating in it, you have a holistic vision of life and not a specialized one. Specialty comes from you accumulating enough wisdom to begin to put those things into practice. Now your full becomes specialized. You do not become specialized first because you will not reach fullness because through speciality that means you have confinement and judgment built in. An example would be somebody who has to get a license to perform their duties and their work. If they move outside the lines of that license, they get their license taken away and they can no longer practice. What happens when you're passionate and love something, love what you do so much, Somebody else comes and takes it away from you. You can no longer practice. And if you do, now you put yourself in a position of detainment, confinement. These aspects in which your life experiences change in a different format. One with less richness at times. Unless you make the best of it, of course, which is part of joy management. (laughs) making the best of your situation. So consider all possibilities, and this is the force in which you draw upon your electricity. Release that. Move it. It will bring you a quantity of life experience, and then you begin to create your own style, your own manner in which you move. You have a technique There are methods to your madness, right? And this is you reaching, stretching. Oh, move it, grab it, 
shake it around, pet it if you like. It's your approach in time. Adding just the right amount. You have the right ingredients. Not too much salt. Not too much sugar. Not too much face stomping. (laughs) Or patting on the head. But your approach, it, it gives you a resistance and a release at the same time. It's almost like where you find breathing. You can make it easy, you can make it hard, you can make it fast, you can make it slow. It's your discipline and how you are excited about things, which plays a role in the tension of your approach. And this is like your magnetism as well, comes into your gut. You know, your power is forced here. So, you get a quality as well with this, a purity in your practice through competition. You can receive great reward. Upgrades, they call them. Others may call it evolution. Depends on your definition. Some people find that to be a charged word. And it is. Very pressurized on purpose. Evolution. Keep us all like nails in wood. Being hit with a hammer from some unknown source. So that way we're all on the same level and equality. The water is all much calmer this way, right? Shh. We don't want to make waves. Anybody who sticks their head up is making waves. But that's okay. Someday, it is my dream that you'll make waves. So perform. Produce. Impress upon the world. That is the lesson of competition. Not one of destruction. Not one of distance per se, but one of advancement and accomplishment and completion. To be successful and fulfilled through competition, you can judge your actions against others and through that competition, it makes them better and it makes you better. But the the warning here is, Beware of superiority and beware of dominance.